Once again, hello everyone and a warm welcome uh, to our webinar. Uh, it is a final webinar of uh, the 2021 Autumn Tree Campaign or Phenology Campaign that is organized by GLOBE Program Regional Coordination Office for Europe and EuroAsia. Uh, my name is Lenka Kleger and I'm the coordinator of the campaign. And I also want to introduce my colleagues Dana Votapkova. Hello, Dana. Hello. Hello, everyone. And Vara Semerákova. Hi. Hi, Vara, uh, who coordinate the campaign together with me. Um, this campaign uh, is supposed to close the, uh, th this webinar is supposed to close the campaign, but also the three reporters challenge that uh, we started uh, this autumn. We tried for the first time and we were very happy uh, to see a great response from schools from all around the region. So you will see many of uh, outcomes of uh, the three reporters uh, in a while. Uh, just from the technical point of view, the webinar will take maximum 90 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's recorded as you know. Um, I will now share my screen and tell you a little bit about uh, the campaign and about the three reporters challenge. I hope you can see my uh, screen well. Yes, I can see yes. some agreement. So yes, yes. Uh, thank you, thank you. So 2021 Autumn Tree Campaign. Uh, it was a great experience for myself. Uh, we had 160 schools from 18 different countries, mainly from Europe and Euro-Asia region, but also from the United States. Uh, it was a very active community, very active schools. We had 31 collaboration groups, uh, groups of schools that worked together, uh, that exchange uh, experience, exchange uh, pictures and results, and even uh, created some uh, materials together, as uh, you will see later on now. And uh, we had a very lively discussion at our discussion forum, a great exchange of experience as well. Uh, for those who may not be so familiar with the phenology campaign, uh, the autumn activities uh, consisted of uh, green down observation, green down activities. We had three of them, which started with uh, observing of leaf color change and uh, went all the way to entering the data and sharing the data in the International Globe database. We also tried measuring tree height, learned some new things about our tree, not only how it changes in the autumn, but also how big the tree is. Um, we also tried a very new activity focused on carbon cycle, on uh, the amount of carbon that is stored in leaves in, uh, in the autumn trees and how this amount of carbon changes over autumn. We had three webinars, included this uh, last one. Uh, it was an introductory one, then meeting with scientists and now the closing webinar. And I really, really want to thank our partners, uh, the Trees Around the Globe campaign team, uh, scientists from Charles University, Czech Republic, from Wageningen University, and other contributors of the campaign who helped us uh, in the webinars, but also throughout the whole campaign. Now, let's say a few words about the Tree Reporters Challenge. Uh, the challenge was uh, for the students to become a Tree Reporters. Uh, they could just choose one of two challenges, uh, go outside, uh, find a tree or visit the tree that they observe and uh, make an interview with the tree. They could create interview for a tree TV uh, in the form of video or uh, create a poster for tree magazine. Uh, we received 20 beautiful videos and 21 beautiful posters from several countries, from uh, the Europe and Eurasia region, but also from Taiwan. And I want to say that uh, we will now see some of the videos and some of the posters. And it was very difficult to choose only some of them, believe me, they, they were really nice, all of them. But uh, the time is limited, so we couldn't do that. But we will uh, for sure uh, publish all the outcomes, all the videos, all the posters at the GLOBE website and let you know. So all of them will be showcasted uh, in, a, in a few days or in the two weeks. 
it was the main points from the campaign and from the challenge. And I think, uh, oh, maybe if there are some questions to the webinar or to what I've just said, I will just give a short while. And I don't see any. So I think it's time to turn on the three TV and see the first uh, part of the show. It will be a video uh, made by reporters from elementary school Plavetsky Štvrtok from Slovakia. And uh, if I can ask Bara to turn on the TV. Uh, enjoy the show. A je to pravda, že se mezi sebou rozpráváte? Bolí, keď zrastiem. A teba to nebolí? Medvedia v zime spia. Spíš aj ty, alebo v nemáš okolie. Nevadí ti, keď po tebe lesiem? Ihličnany sú najlepšie. So, uh, yeah, I, I really like this video. I think it's very beautiful and they are many curious questions. I, I also wonder if the tree are hurt, uh, the beaver bites them. <laughs> and I really hope you enjoyed it. I, I can see uh, from the chat that uh, you did. Uh, please send your comments to chat. Uh, I don't think we have uh, the team from uh, Plavetsky Štvrtok, but we have uh, a coordinator of Globe Slovakia, Barbara Michnova with us. So I think she can uh, pass on the Greetings and comments to the Slovakian school. Thank you, thank you. And um, we started with questions and now I uh, will have uh, some task or some little activity for you. So please uh, just sit down quietly and imagine that you could do a magic. That you could start speaking the language of trees. So what would you ask? What would your question be? Can you write your questions to the chat? Let us know what comes to your mind. What would you like to know from your tree? I can see your thinking, yeah, and see first questions. How old are you? Do you feel? Yes, it's a very interesting question. How tall are you? Where are you from? When are you going to drop those leaves at last? Are you boring? Interesting question. What did you see? Okay, thank you. There are many interesting questions. I would like to know the answers. And uh, maybe some of these answers can be uh, the, these questions are done, can be answered by your research later on or by uh, maybe scientists at some of the next webinar in the phenology campaign. For example, how tall is the tree? We, we have an expert, Brian Campbell, here with us. So you can also uh, follow his advice later on. And uh, if you yourself and your teams uh, find uh, answers or way how to answer your question, please let us know. We will be also curious to learn about your research, about the way that you um, approach your trees. So there are more, more questions coming to the chat, but uh, we, can, we can read them there. But now we will see uh, some more videos. We will learn what students in the tree reporters challenge ask the trees. And we will see three video, uh, four videos from three different countries, from Croatia, Malta, and from Poland. Myslím, 
osnovne škole Banija. Nalazimo se u podnožju drveta koji ovdje stoji već 76 godina. Drvo, tko si ti? Ja sam Betula Pendula Brezo. Brezo, koliko si visoka? Visoka sam 20 metra. Impresivno, a koliki ti je opseg? Moj opseg iznosi 200 centra. Hvala ti na razgovoru. Generacijama će ova breza pružati zaštitu od sunca i kiše. Nekima će biti zahvalno igrž skrivača. Bit će dom raznim životima. Jeste li znali, ako zagrlite brezu, napunit ćete se pozitivnom energijom? Hi, my name is Benjamin Copperstone. I'm 11 years old and I'm a GLOBE member. see you standing here, the tallest tree in the school. Sometimes I wish you could talk and tell me something cool. Oh hi there Benjamin, it's been a while. I'm glad to see you here. I'll glad you tell your stories on whatever you'd like to hear. Never ever would I have thought that this tree would reply. Now tell me Mr. Norfolk Pine, how did you grow sky high? The founder of your school thought that some things would be quite fitting. He planted me and my three brothers, who sadly are now missing. I'm very grateful to have lived almost 75 long years, survived an accident with a crane, grown big like other firs. Thank you, Mrs. Norfolk Pine, or as I call you here, thank you, Agricaria. I will hold your story dear. better. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. How do you feel among people? Well, I like to listen to them. They say a lot of interesting things. How do you dislike about them? I don't like their creations. They are terribly loud and they smell. You mean hard? Yes, they follow me on the road. I can see them, but I can hear and feel them. I can grow through them. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry to help a people. It's okay, I'm fine. Poštovani gledatelji, dobar vam dan. U današnjoj emisiji Globe Nature donosimo vam zanimljiv intervju. Idemo odmah na teren gdje nas čeka Gloria Pišić. Dobar dan svima, ja sam Gloria i u ovoj emisiji sam kao Globe Reporter. Danas ću pričati sa maslinom i pa reci nam nešto o sebi. Zimzelena sam biljka koja može postići od 3 do 13 metara visine. Mogu dati od 15 do 40 kg plodova što je dosta za od 3 do 8 litera ulja. Kako tlo pogoduje tvojom sazrijevanju? Najviše mi godi rahlotlo, koje brzo upija vodu, a sadržaj gline ne bi smio biti već od 60%, kako bih mogla razviti svoje korenje. I za kraj mi još reci u koje vrijeme se sadimo. Najčešće se sadimo u listopadu, da se razrijevamo u jesen iduće godine, kada sam još nedozrela za konzumiranje na stolu. Berba maslina za proizvodnju ulja obavlja se u listopadu i studenom. Hvala ti puno na odgovor. Hvala tebi. Hvala vam što ste i danas bili u emisiji Globe Nature. Vidimo se. So big thanks to authors of these beautiful videos. Uh, well done. And uh, I can see many nice comments in uh, the chat. 
So don't hesitate to add yours uh, as well. I think some of the teams, some of the students and teachers are here with us and definitely the country coordinators are with us. So uh, the authors will somehow learn about, about your nice comments. Please add them. And so this was a three TV show, but we also have a three magazine created from uh, the reporter's outcome. And uh, I will now share my screen and show it to you. So can you see it well? Please let me know. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, so this is a 2021 Autumn 3 magazine issue number one. And uh, the cover page was created by reporters from Gymnasium Mate Blažina Lab in Croatia. Uh, it is said that the title page sells a magazine. And I think that uh, thanks to uh, the team from Labin, the reporters from Labin, we would uh, be selling our magazine pretty well. I, I think it's very beautiful picture, beautiful cover. And uh, let's see what's inside the magazine. Uh, the first page belongs to Dame Gruev Bitola, North Macedonia, and the students that uh, showed us uh, how important uh, this tree is for them. It is a lime tree, linden, and uh, also how it changes over, over the autumn. Beautiful pictures, beautiful comparison, I think, from grow up, probably. So we learn a lot about the tree. The next picture is again from Croatia and again a lime tree. Uh, the tree told students a lot about its characteristics. Uh, for example, we learned that it's 18.7 meter tall, but we also learned something about the tradition. So I found very interesting myself that people used to get uh, married under the lime tree in the region of Chakovets. So it was very interesting information for me. And uh, well done to Sredna Škola Čakovec. Uh, so magazines usually have a foreign section. And this is no different for our three magazine. Uh, so this is our foreign section, foreign rubric. And thanks to it, we can get a glimpse into another globe region, into Asia. And in this poster, we learn about uh, a beautiful tree called Golden Rain that is native to Taiwan. Uh, and the poster was sent to us by the affiliated Senior High School of National Chung Sing University, Taiwan. As I'm talking, I, I think uh, you can't really read all the details of these posters. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it, but do not worry. I think in the chat, you should already be able to find a link to uh, Google documents where you will find all these posters. So if you would like to read everything in the details, you can uh, do it uh, through this link. Uh, the next page is uh, a visit to Malta. Uh, it is an interview made by Elena Attar, a student from Gozo College Middle School, uh, who interviewed not only the tree, but also her grandfather. And uh, as I learned from the poster, there seemed to be a very special bond between the tree and Elena's grandfather. And I would like to read to you what the tree said. So uh, I will read from the poster. I cannot be happier here. My owner really loves me and take, takes care of me in a very special way. I grew up here. I have been here for 41 years. Even though I have been here for all, three, all these years, my trunk circumference is only 32 centimeters. I then finally, during end of September and beginning of October, during the autumn season, show a gratitude towards the man who looks after me and produce loads of prunes for him to enjoy. Please don't worry about the plastic bags hanging from my branches. They are there to scare away the birds. So, 
I really like uh, how uh, the tree is bonded to the grandfather, their special relationship. And thanks to Elena Atard for uh, sharing this with us. And uh, here we are at the final page, the last page of our poster uh, that was created by Osnovna Škola Antuna Mihailovića Osijek uh, from Croatia and shows us how uh, the reporters interview the, their uh, birch tree. So well done to all the reporters. Thank you for your contributions. And I hope uh, you liked it as well as I did. And uh, I have to say that uh, there were teams that uh, created posters, that created a uh, contribution to a tree magazine, but there were even teams who created uh, the whole book. <laughs> so I want to show you one such a book that was sent to us from high school of Remontia Knin from Croatia. So uh, this is a book made in a book creator tool. Here you can see the reporter's team. And when we open the book virtually, we can learn that uh, the students observe a tree uh, of a species black poplar. And uh, we can actually learn a lot about the characteristics of the tree. Uh, we can also learn a lot about the distribution of the tree. And there are also many interesting facts about uh, the way how the tree is used. Uh, for example, uh, did you know that uh, Mona Lisa, the famous painting was uh, painted on the poplar wood? Uh, for me, it was a uh, nice new information. So this is a book creator. We will also share it with you so that you can Enjoy it in uh, all details. And uh, well done again, well done to uh, Lydia Spado team, to all these young reporters from Lovre Montiakni in Croatia. And uh, now we have again time for a uh, three TV. We will turn it on again and uh, see a video from Poltava School number 38 from Ukraine. Hello, welcome to Daily News. Today we are at the courtyard of uh, Poltava School 38 and I see people, pupils doing some researches here. Let's check and find out what are they doing. I'm sorry, hello, what's your name and what uh, are you doing here? Hello, my name is uh, Lisa. I am a sixth grade student uh, for the hour study. Uh, we chose uh, it grows in our school. Um, we have been conducting a research uh, since uh, September uh, with our uh, geography teacher. Um, our observations uh, are um, phenology. Uh, that is <laughs> of our tree um, in the autumn uh, on the leaves and waters. Thank you for your information. Um, we are going forward. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Diana. Diana, tell us please about the results of your researches. The results of our study we enter in the Green Down Protocol. We're using the color palette to determine how the color of our selected leaves was changed. Greetings to our school partners, primary school, Dermans, Croatia, and Juravska and the Kiev region. <laughs> and that, that was Oleg Kolomiets, uh, news from Poltava School 38. Stay tuned! So you could hear uh, Paul Tava Daily News on 3TV. <laughs> Great job. Uh, I think we learned a lot about the student research. 
and also about the collaboration with other schools. And uh, I'm happy to say that today we have here the team from Poltava School, the teacher Alvar, Alvar Nelkonian, and the student Solomia Sergiona and Artem Demianko. And they will now tell us even more about their research. So uh, Solomia, Artem, the floor is yours. Please uh, tell us how your research and your collaboration was. Hello, uh, we are seven great students, the Marco Artem and my friend Jorgen uh, Solomia. We want to present uh, the results of uh, our observations. Uh, we begin to conduct our, our observation on September 22. The last uh, leaf uh, fell on November 3 uh, for our observations, we chose a bridge uh, that grows on the territory of uh, our school. We wrote uh, the results in the green down protocol. The core of the leaves uh, was uh, repent uh, using a color field. Uh, then the group of website entered uh, data and uh, resolved uh, a schedule uh, for changing the color of the leaves. We shared the results of of uh, observation is a discussion forum. Shows an electronic uh, particularly with partner schools. Held an online conversation with partner schools. Our team filmed the video as part of a three reports project that showed us how we conduct silver lines. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Great work. Thank you for introducing us your research. Uh, and now I open floor to questions. Would someone like to ask something to Solomia or to Artem? You can uh, write questions into the chat or uh, you can even unmute yourself and uh, talk or show a raised hand. Oh, I see some very nice comments in the chat. But, the uh, comments. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see any questions. So just a few more seconds for those who needed to think about it. I have a question. <laughs> do, okay, you, do you plan a next edition of your uh, three TV? Will you continue in doing the video reports like this next year, for example? Yes, Thank of you. course. Uh, uh, but uh, it's a bit of a recording. But last question, I stop on our video video встреч наших новин буде весною, коли будуть розпускатися дерева. Артем чи Соломія, будь ласка, перекладіть. Artem and Solomia, if you were talking now, we cannot hear you. Do you like to? Просто скажи, що наша наступна зустріч буде весною. The next uh, meeting will be in the spring. Okay. So we really look forward to see another, another TV show, another daily news from Poltava. And I want to thank you for your great work. And also I want to appreciate uh, your cooperation with the partners uh, because uh, what is uh, important to say that you cooperate for quite a long time with the two schools that you mentioned and uh, in different fields in, in your research, but even one created a reporter's outcomes and other activities. So uh, 
Uh, this is really great. Thank you for that. And Thank I think you. Thank you. There, there was one more question someone wanted to ask from, huh? from Maine. Yes. Hi, my name is Kevin, and I have a question for Artem. And I want to know, why did you pick a birch tree? Hmm. I think we can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking or not. Uh, would you like uh, to tell us why you picked a birch tree? Why, why did you select uh, this three species of birch? <laughs> So uh, maybe we Please can ask. Please follow me. Can you translate it? Чому ми обрали саме дерево березу? Нас Ну, тому що я не знаю, розумієте ви українською чи не розумієте. У нас невеликі проблеми англійською мовою зараз. Але я спробую українською сказати. Можливо, хтось зрозуміє. А, значить, вибір наш випав тому, що це дерево росте біля нашої школи і нам найзручніше зробити спостереження за нею. Артем, Соломія, якщо зручно, перекладіть, будь ласка. Що нам зручно робити спостереження, тому що береза росте біля нашої школи, а нас це 12 чоловік учасників. І дуже часто буває так, що наші класи закриваються на карантин. І Діти живуть ближче до школи, і нам легше якби координуватися, приходити, робити певні спостереження. Ви тук за біч, бікоз ви хепе лот оф біч сенір це школи, бікоз і це конвенію. Thank you for your answer. Thank you, Solomia, for uh, the translation, the great cooperation also within your team. Thanks a lot for that. And uh... I may have a, a word. Um, I'm a member of the of a DIA working group, and uh, we are uh, spending time with the language initiative. And uh, now I see that we are right that there is some problem with the language, and I'm glad that the students uh, uh, walked in and translated because uh, we want to find uh, volunteer students who will present uh, at the webinar and who will be interpreters so to help people to understand each other so that's a great job for the girl that translated this thank you thank you marina for your comment and uh it sounds like a great initiative. So uh, we will be happy to learn more about it. Or if you want to uh, call others to join, uh, you can also write into the chat, write maybe more or your contact. Let, let us know, please. We are still working on it. And when we have finished, uh, we will put it on the globe. So it will be there. So just that you know that we are working on it and that we see the it seems you, we lost you, Marina, since you are muted now. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> some technical issue. So we could hear that uh, you are working on it and you will let us know. I don't know. Yes, if you, yes, we will something. let you know when we send out the initiative. Thanks a lot, Marina. We look forward to the news from you. Thank you. And uh, I don't see any further questions. Uh, I think not even in a chat. So uh, let's come to another example of cooperation. The cooperation is very important in the three campaign, in uh, the phenology campaign. And uh, this example will be cooperation between three schools in Croatia, uh, between Osnovna Škola Bania, Osnovna Škola Dubovac, and Osnovna Škola Hugo Balajic. 
And these three schools uh, work together within the uh, collaboration group, and they also created a Padlet together to share the results. I will show you uh, the Padlet. So here it is. And uh, here are the results. I will slowly scroll down to show you everything that's on the Padlet. But I don't want to be talking myself, but rather invite the authors. So we have here Ankitsa Veselic and her students, Thea and Lucia, who uh, I think are ready to tell us something about the cooperation. So I can be slowly showing the Padlet. And Thea and Lucia, please uh, unmute yourself and tell us more. Uh, hello, um, we are the sixth grade students from uh, the Bania Elementary School from uh, Karlovac, Croatia. I'm Lucia, this is Thea. Uh, our GLOBE group has been uh, participating in the Phantological campaign for five years. Uh, this year, the Tugovas got involved. Um, we have been observing our uh, birch in the schoolyard uh, and also uh, one birch outside the city. Uh, this school year, we have started observing birches in mid-September. Uh, first, we measure their height and their uh, with a, cl a clinometer and the circumference of the chest with a measuring tape. Our birch is in the school uh, uh, our our birch in the schoolyard is uh, twenty point seventeen meters high, and her circumference and her circumference <laughs> circumference is uh, twenty. Uh, 200 centimeters. The birch in the suburbs is 17.55 meters high and her circumference is 150 uh, centimeters. We have been observing birches twice a week, every Wednesday, and we put uh, photos on the Padlet uh, and uh, write posts on the campaign forum and uh, photograph uh, the breach using the Grow app. On the Padlet, we have been exchanging information with the elementary school Dubovats from Karlovats. They also have been observing two breaches in, the, in their schoolyard. We have been recording changes in the uh, color of the leaves in the GLOBE database, where we, can, um, where we can see nice graphs of the change in the color of the leaves. In addition to the change in leaf color, we have measured the current air temperature and daily precipitation. During September, the leaves on both of our birches were green, while in October, they began to slowly turn yellow. In November, air temperature were lower, so the leaves turned yellow to the end. On November 24th, the branches we observed our birch has only one leaf. On November 26th, it was rainy weather and that leaf fell off. It is interesting to us that the leaves on the birches of the Dubovac Elementary School have not yet fallen off and that they turned yellow much slower than on our birches. The distance between our schools is small, around three kilometers. It would be interesting to explore what are the possible reasons for that reaction. We have also compiled a scale from changing the school of uh, changing the color of <laughs> verge leaves. Some of our GLOBE members are members of journalism group uh, at our school. So we wrote a, a syn syn synopsis for an interview with our verge. We have divided questions and recordings. We are very happy that we can learn in nature and that we can uh, connect the birch and journalism. That's it. Thank you, Thea. Thank you, Lucia. That's really a uh, lot of activities, a wide range of activities. That's amazing. Uh, it's very nice to learn from you. And uh, I want to ask you if you want to continue. You, you've been observing the tree for five years, so will you continue? Yes, we yes. will. It's very interesting and fun. It's a fun process. Okay, it's good to hear. So good luck for your next observations. Thank you for that. And uh, I will now ask uh, the other team from uh, elementary school Dubovac uh, to 
at their part about uh, the cooperation. So, uh, Snežana Zoraj Markovic, are you here with us? Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, can you see me? Yes, yes, hello. Oh. <clears throat> I would uh, say something about that. Um, we haven't uh, saw, uh, these differences in spring, uh, where we have uh, green ob observation green in green up, but uh, now we have differences and uh, we assume that uh, the microclimate of the schoolyard where the birch trees grow is affected by a lot of chimneys and uh, the houses uh, which have uh, wood heating. And uh, this, uh, that numerous of lots of houses uh, is uh, about 20, 20 or 13 um, meters near the uh, distance of the birch trees, uh, which we have measured. Uh, also, I don't know, but uh, I think with my students, if uh, possible, one of causes of this, uh, because uh, in the ground, uh, in front and uh, around the school is the central heating pipes. Uh, they, their uh, pi pipes are laid in the ground surrounding the school and heating from um, October. So we have uh, heating uh, from down and from up. And maybe uh, this, uh, uh, maybe the, reason why our leaves don't fall yet. Mm -hmm. So that's a very interesting uh, question. Very... That's uh, our opinion, maybe. We must, uh, we must observe uh, more and more days. Uh, today we have measured and our leaves don't fall and today uh, we haven't, uh, uh, we didn't uh, in globe base today, we, we, don't, we, we can't uh, uh, send today measurement, but the, leaf, the, or, the all leaves are uh, yellow and mm -hmm. don't fall. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are actually now doing a new research, if I understand well. So you are not only yes. observing the tree, but also the um, atmosphere yes. and the air We're observing a lot of trees uh, in front of school in our park and especially these birches. Uh -huh. Thank you for sharing this. I think that, that would be a nice question for uh, also about the situation at your place, it would be a nice question for uh, the scientists at the next webinar to, to tell us more about the uh, correlation between the trees and the heating and the pollution. Yes, it may, maybe some, uh, some urban heat island effect. Yes, yes. Okay, so Snežana, thank you very much for uh, your thank you. comments, <clears throat> thank you. for sharing. Uh, this interesting topic with us. And I can see now in chat that Linda Shorley from Slovenia would like to add something. Linda, please feel free to unmute yourself and, and uh, talk. I see you were asking how old is this tree, but uh, if there's something more you would like to say. Uh, you're asking me for uh, uh, probably uh, I, yes. no, I don't the, know. I, sorry. Uh, sorry, one birch is uh, forty-six years old, and other ones forty-eight years old. Okay, Linda. I hope uh, this was uh, yeah. Okay, that, that's uh, what Linda asked, and uh, also Maria Pavlic uh, suggested that you could measure the soil temperature. Yes, yes, we measure. Yeah. Uh, we measure the soil temperature once a week uh, is uh, similar with the uh, air temperature. Very similar. Okay, thank you. 
Is are there any further questions? Would like would someone like to uh, unmute and uh, tell us some question or comment? Also, I'm sorry. We yeah. uh, you say we uh, have collaboration uh, for three schools, but uh, you see on Padlet only two schools. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't communicate with a third school, and okay. this school this school is is not in this Padlet. Mm -hmm. So you didn't get uh, in touch at all. Um, little. Little, only little. We sent email, but uh, we 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 um, we haven't uh, got answer for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's something that uh, happens within the collaboration group. I can say uh -huh. uh, for sure the schools that uh, join the collaboration sometimes get uh, very busy with something else, or it's just not possible for them to collaborate. And uh, thank you, Snežana, for sharing this. I think it's very important for us in, in the regional office, for us coordinators. It's very good to know also this kind of feedback. So please let us know if, uh, in case that your co collaboration uh, goes well, but also in case that the collaboration doesn't go that well, okay. it will help us. Maybe we can also try to uh, do something about it, uh, maybe to find you a new partner if needed. So. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. I see uh, Lukas Pavic uh, who wants to say something more. In what soil this tree grow up, I think? What's, am I understanding correctly the question? Um, so, um. Soil, the soil is uh, fifty percent of uh, silt and fifty percent of clay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Lucas. I hope it answered your question. I think it's a very precise answer. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and. Uh, I see no further questions, so I really want to thank to Thea, Lucia, and Snežana for uh, submitting their Padlet, for being here with us and sharing your uh, great experience. And uh, now I think we've been uh, sitting and uh, watching and listening a lot, so we could take some time to stretch a little bit, to do some little activity together. And uh, I have a question for you. What color did you like uh, the most on the leaves when, when you were visiting the trees or just during the autumn? What color was your favorite one? Uh, please let the others know, but do it in a way that you will show the color on something. So just feel free to stand up, walk, and find some object that uh, has the color that you like. Take it and bring it back. Show it to others to camera. We can see Bara probably like see yellow. She has a beautiful yellow mug. So just please turn on your cameras. I can see more pictures of you. You can just stand up and stretch. We have a little time for it. So my <laughs> hair. <laughs> I can see orange, red, beautiful, very different objects. <laughs> Ramona has some kind of green thing, green golden. <laughs> I don't see it very well. All gavido, yeah. It's and so yellow nice. candle I have. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> and yellow candle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, orange then, some oranges, some papers. Okay, <laughs> thank you all, thank you. Yeah, Lucas, uh, yellow. So clearly yellow and red is the favorite ones. Uh, I will show you mine. I actually, this morning, I walk outside thinking what to show you and I walk along this beautiful ginkgo tree and uh, it's pretty gray around in Prague. 
but this tree was like um, the, the ground around the tree was covered by these beautiful yellow trees and it was shining uh, like a sun. So I thought I have to bring you one. And Sandro is showing the color and exercising at the same time. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> so that's the stretching we talked about. Okay, so thanks a lot. Thanks for participating, showing us the green dragon and other objects. And uh, the, the colors were really important even in the posters that were sent by you by the three reporters. So uh, I hope you feel good after the stretch and you feel like uh, watching some more posters from us. And uh, can I ask Bara to share the posters now for me? I'm not sure if Bara is available. So just if you give me one second, I will, I will share the poster for you. Bara, do you have the posters ready, the colorful ones, or shall I share it? Yes, I can share it. I just disappeared because I wanted to, because in chat there is a very precise number of a color. So <laughs> I actually wanted to show which one it is. Because I don't know if everybody knows that we have in Globe, we have this color scale. And it's this kind of orange that is in the middle. This is the code, which was secret code, which was written in the chat. So that's that's exactly I'm... the one. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, why I disappeared for a while to fetch the, um, this beautiful scale that you could see also in the videos that the students are using to determine exactly the, the color. So <laughs> now I will do what Alenka is uh, requesting me to do. <laughs> Thank you, Bara. Thank you. It's good we now uh, know all the colors <laughs> and understand what's hiding behind this uh, code. Okay, and I will just share that. <clears throat> Hope you can see that now. Yes, yes, uh, we can see uh, the upper part of the poster. Yeah, was, down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was created by uh, Pčelka Pucho from Slovakia. Uh, I really like it. It's really colorful. There's a lots of lots of pictures. Um, you will now see it just quite small, I think. But again, you can go to the to the Google Drive and uh, see it in all details. And the students they observe a Norway maple, and I really like the nickname they gave it. Uh, and it's not obor vrtulkovi, which in English would mean the giant full of tails. So not obor is a, like a over giant, I would say. <laughs> so this uh, is a over giant poster from uh, Pčelka Pucho from Slovakia. And once we finish uh, watching the whole posters here, we can uh, move to the second poster that was uh, submitted by Young Naturalist Station of Velika Pusarivka Sumi region from Ukraine. And I'm happy to welcome here Olga Movchan and her students, Sofia, Elizaveta, Anastasia, and Anastasia. And uh, I think they want to tell us about the poster. They want to tell us what's written in there. So please feel free to unmute and we look forward to hearing it from you. So I don't know if we have you. I can see Olga and the students, but we don't hear you. So uh, do you want to talk to us? Sonia, vam slova. Mkajemo kamera. Ah. Я почала, але не включила мікрофон, так, добре. Починаємо. Let's be stars. 
Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. We are a team of young journalists, Flava Follow. Engage in phonological research at the world famous young naturalization of Fala Capisir Kasuma region. Today we want to interview a beautiful tree, the Brunus Terrasus or cherry tree. The team Anastasia Glushenko, Elizabeth Hotel, Anastasia Nevesela, and Sofia Skripnik. Uh, science supervisor Olga Molchan. Anastasia Nevesela will present the cherry. Then let's be start. Good afternoon. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I am unusual cherry. My box buzzing around my breakers because in Latin they are called prunus terrasus. Where are you from? I was born in the picturesque countries of Asia Minor, then spread to Denmark and Switzerland, from where I began to spread around the world. When is your birthday? On the territory of the young nationalist station of Velika Pysarivka, I was dropped off in 2014. This year I turned seven years old. What is your morphological structure? I am a tree of shrub reaching almost 10 meters in height. The leaves are petiolate, broadly elliptical, pointed, dark green above but lighter below reaching 8 centimeters in length. My flowers are white, gathered in inflorescences of two or three flowers. I have five sepals and petals, 15, 20 statements and one pistil. Winter is coming soon. How do you feel about it after moving to our region? If I feel winter is coming soon, at first I get cold, and I have to shed my leaves and go to sleep until spring. Do you have any family? Yes, I have sisters, Cherry or Prunus avium, Cherry step or Prunus fruct fru fruticosa, and Cherry piscine. How do you feel about the process of knitting observation labels on your twigs? Does it hurt you? No, it doesn't hurt. On the contrary, I like it. It makes me even more beautiful and makes me feel like Morena. Do you consent to the processing of the phenological date that we connect and record on the Globe International Science and Education Program website? Yes, of course. Thank you for your attention. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. That was a great performance. I uh, was thinking that uh, today we saw uh, TV already, we read the magazine, and now we were like in, in a theater, watching a theater play. So this is great. Thanks a lot. Very nice uh, speech. Thanks for uh, introducing us your interview and uh, your team, uh, how it approaches the tree. Great work. And uh, with this beautiful performance, we are uh, coming to an end of this webinar. But uh, before that, we will once again turn on the Tree TV and uh, watch a few more videos. In fact, uh, five more videos that come from uh, Croatia, Lithuania, Malta, and Ukraine. So I will ask Bara again to turn on the TV and uh, enjoy the final show. <laughs> Dobar dan, gospodine. Dobar dan, djeco. Kako vam mogu pomoći? Kako ste lijepi ovi dana. Mi smo GOP skupina iz osnove škole Rugvica i želimo vas predstaviti našim prijateljima diljem svijeta. Možemo li vam postaviti nekoliko pitanja? Naravno. Recite nam nešto o sebi. Odakle ste i koliko imate godina? Inače, ja sam Crveni Javor. Moji preci dolaze iz Sjeverne Amerike. Neki su moji rođaci stariji do 150 godina. Mi smo listopadno drveće, imamo guste krošnje. Od kada rastete u dvorištu naše škole? Tu sam već deseta godina. Stigao sam kao maleno stablo kako bih ukrašavao vaše dvorište. Ljeti pružao hlad, a u jesen ukrašavao cijelu okolisu. 
Veseli me kada se prolaznici dive moje raskošnoj krošnji. Puno vam hvala, dragi gospodine, ili da kažem prijatelju. Hvala vama, dragi moji prijatelji, što me njegujete i što me čuvate. Veselim se što ćemo rasti zajedno. Nadam se sretnom i dugom životu. Доброго дня! Ми кореспондент програми «Глоб». Традиційно на весні та восени ми проводимо фенологічні спостереження. І сьогодні ми завітали до нашої улюбленої Берези, щоб трохи поспілкуватися. Ви, як ми вже бачимо, готуєтесь до зимового сну. Так, подивіться на моє прекрасне золоте вбрання. А скоро всі мої листочки опадуть, і я залишусь зовсім без листя. Чи не шкодуєте ви про це? Ні, що ви. По-перше, мені теж потрібно відпочити. А по-друге? По-друге, весною, коли сонячний день збільшиться і стане тепло, в мене з'явиться нове зелене листячко, яке буде не гірше за це. Сподіваюсь, ви будете спостерігати за цим процесом. Звісно, на весні, як тільки почнуть з'являтися бруньки, ми завітаємо до вас в гості. Що ж, береса готується до зимового сну. Не будемо їй заважати. З вами були Михайло та Альона. До нових зустрічей! Sveiki! Kodėl keičiasi medžių lapų spalva, tai vyksta dėl to, kad keičiasi orą temperatūrą ir paros medžių sutrumpėja diena ir pailgėna naktis. Medžiai mums svarbus, nes vykdo fotosintezę, valo orą, gamina deguonį, suburia mūsų draugę. Sodinkime medžius, rūpinkime jis, domėkimės, Ir mylėkime juos, nes jie svarbus mums ir mūsų ateinančioms kartoms. Iki! Одного разу я побачила дивний сон. Немов лечу я на повітряній кульці високо у небі. Раптом я бачу галявину, а на ній поодиноко стоячий дуб. Він виглядав дуже сумним. Що трапилось? Чого ти дуби такий сумний? Я прожив багато років. Я знаю мову дощу і вітру. Але я знаю і про те, якими жорстокими бувають люди. Ви вирубуєте дерева, забруднюєте повітря. Ми дерева намагаємось вам це сказати, але ви, на жаль, не розумієте мови дерев. 
тому я дуже тебе прошу передати мої слова людям вашою людською мовою. Дуб замовчав. Я прокинулась, але пам'ятала кожне його слово. Немов це було наяву. Тепер я знаю, про що говорять і думають дерева. Давайте а як мога більше саджати дерев і слухати, про що вони говорять. Well, beautiful videos, I think. Uh, great job to all the authors, to all the teams, and thank you for submitting uh, your videos, for your uh, enthusiasm that you put into them, obviously. Uh, that's really nice. And I also think the videos show the great diversity of our group, of us, the three reporters and three observers, that they are very different languages different approaches to the videos, but that's uh, the great thing about it. And uh, this brings us to the end of uh, today's webinar and also to the end of uh, the autumn campaign. But uh, before we end, I want to leave some time for you to talk if someone would like to give any comments to the videos, to the students that were talking today or to the teachers or just uh, write or say something, uh, there's some time for it now. I can say something. Yes. I'd like to thank you for this great initiative because you make students, you know, go outside and cheer up with all the colors of the leaves. So it's really great in these strange times. So well done and thank you for, for the autumn campaign for a chance to join. Thank you, Barborka, for these uh, nice words. It's good to hear. <laughs> Yeah, because autumn is very beautiful and colorful, and this is really great to hear. That's true. It's a great time to be outside and just uh, enjoy the colors. And I feel that these videos are very, very positive. You know, all, all videos are very, the, the students are very you know, smiling, and it's just great to see. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Para added a link uh, to the chat again for the three magazines. And I want to say that uh, all the posters and all the videos, not only th those that were uh, shown today, uh, will be presented at the GLOBE website. We want to uh, showcase all of them. It wasn't possible today. I, I saw in the chat a question where are the other three posters. Uh, it, there was not enough time to show everything, believe us but uh, we definitely want to show them uh, in the future. So uh, you will see your work uh, soon on the GLOBE website and perhaps even somewhere else. Uh, and also, also the videos will be there, not only the posters. Yes, yes, correct. And uh, also we will uh, send the certificates to all of you who send us uh, the videos or the posters who presented today and also to all of you that were active within uh, the autumn campaign. Uh, and the, the campaign ends now, but of course, please, uh, if you are still observing the color change, maybe for your trees, it's not ended. So uh, keep, uh, keep observing, uh, keep uh, sharing, keep uh, sending us uh, the results. This is the last meeting, but not uh, the very end of the campaign. It of course ends uh, by in the time when your observation ends. So please continue. And uh, I don't see any questions. I see some very nice words in the chat. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, being here today. Thank you for being uh, part of the three campaign, three reporters initiative. And the campaign will, of course, continue in spring. We will let you know uh, before it starts. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. And um, yeah, take care. Go outside. You can observe your trees even in the winter time. So enjoy that. And I hope to see you soon. And you Bye. can say goodbye in your language now so that we can hear 
all the different yeah. languages. Mm. Arrivederci. Da Vigenia. Hola, Nasidonia. Hello. Saha. Saha. Hello. Adiós. Hasta luego.